police open up. Bitch, why? <laughs> Wrong address. One, two, three, let's go. Welcome back to my Chanel. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> so this is a story time. Okay, y'all. This is a motherfucking story time. I know you guys love my story time, so we're gonna get it popping. You feel me? We're gonna get into the story time about my crazy ass roommate. So let's get it started. So if you guys are new to my channel, um I have made a story time about um crazy roommates before but these are a whole new set of crazy roommates and i just want to set out a disclaimer because i know for the people who are not new to my channel they're about to be like this girl got an issue like it's her at this rate like she didn't beef with a whole nother set of roommates no bitch it's not me it's them i'm sorry boom okay so this story time happened this motherfucking year so, I had a whole new set of roommates, but I was still living in the same apartment. So, basically, my roommate messaged me in July and was saying, Hey, girl, I'm going to be your roommate. Um, they gave me your number. Da -da -da -da, this is that. And I was like, hey. We exchanged socials. The girl was so pretty. Like, we're going to call her... We're going to call her Nissan. <laughs> Because, bitch, I drive a Nissan. And y'all motherfuckers gonna know why the fuck we gonna call her that. Because this bitch thought she was entitled to my motherfucking Nissan. She was an incoming freshman. And she was an engineer. I was like, oh my god, like, me and this girl, we're gonna be so close. Like, you know, like, she's a... Not, I wasn't thinking we're gonna be close. But I was like, we're gonna be cool. Like, she's an engineer. I can help her with her classes. Even though, like, I'm a chemical engineer. It's still some classes that she has to take that I've already taken. So I'm like, man, I'm going to help her with her classes. Like, you know, we're we going to be close. You feel me? We end up getting to the house. Fast forward. It's me and her. This girl's from Chicago. Cool. I don't care. Like, I didn't really, like, think anything of it. Then we see the other roommate. The other roommate was from Chicago also. So I'm going to be real with y'all and I'm going to just say it. I ain't like that both of them was from Chicago. Because I don't want them to come up here <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they was up to, but I just didn't understand why they gave me two roommates from Chicago. Like, I just didn't get it. But the other one, she didn't really talk. She was cool. I don't know. I don't really know her like that. I don't even know her name to this day. Like, I'll be lying if I if I, if I I told y'all her name. I'll be lying because I don't know her name. She was just one of them girls that, like, I never really talked to. It was just a high and by type of moment. Our third roommate moved in, like, two, three weeks later, and... To this day, I don't know her name. I don't know where she's from. I don't know what happened to her because she moved out in the middle of this semester. So I do not know anything. But yeah. So we got Nissan and then we're going to call the other girl Ghost because I don't know her like that either. So Nissan and Ghost. So through the school year, me and Nissan clicked. Like it was so quick. And I feel like that's where I fucked up. Like being so close to her that quick. You know what I mean? And by, judging by the fact that she's a freshman, but I'm like fucking 22 and this girl's like 18, I was thinking, oh, okay, like I can mentor her with classes and stuff, but I should have really like been careful with being close with this girl because she's so young and she has a lot of learning to do. And I can't fault her for it, but at the same time, what you're not going to do is you're not going to play with me. She starts telling me about how she hates Texas because if y'all don't know, I'm from motherfucking H-Town. <laughs> I don't get offended. I'm, like, cool with people who are not from Texas at PV. So, like, it didn't really offend me when she was saying that she hated Texas. Like, a lot of people, I've heard that so many times from people who are not from Texas. So, um, we still vibe. Like, I'm putting her on our lingo. She's putting me on her lingo. I'm putting her on music that we listen to here. And the main reason why I was just putting her on that was because she was talking about how she had went to a party before school started. And she didn't know none of the songs. So she was like, I want to start working out too. Um, can I start coming to the gym with you? So I was like, yeah, girl. I was like, yeah. She came to the gym with me. And she also had another friend that was a freshman too. We ain't going to name her. She irrelevant. 
but um they started coming to the gym with me and it was cool like i had fun with them they were cool the girl was 18 but she didn't act 18 like she come off as very mature but the the way she goes about things throughout the story you will see that girl's not mature and she puts up a facade fast forward to my birthday i even invited this girl out to my birthday so she didn't come i had a brunch and i had and we went to the club at night she didn't come to my brunch because she was doing something throughout the day but she promised that she would come with me to the club i made this girl feel so comfortable i was around all my friends like it was about 15 of us at the club I made this girl feel so comfortable, y'all. Like, I literally made sure, like, I told my friends, hey, my roommate is coming. Y'all make her feel comfortable. And on top of that, my roommate was African-American. I'm African. So, we went to an African club. Majority of my friends, damn near all my friends are African. So, we all went to an African club. So, I was like, y'all make my friends, my, I'm like, inviting my roommate. Y'all make her feel comfortable. And when I tell you, they made her feel so comfortable. According to Nisa, she had fun, like, Nisa was so pretty, so you know how African uncles act. They were buying her a whole bunch of suya. Like, she said she had fun. Like, she had fun. She got drunk. Like, I was so happy she was there, and I was so happy that she felt comfortable. That was, like, the main thing. I like people who are able to assimilate. I don't like... I don't like people who don't want to assimilate and who want to be like, uh, uh, what's going on? Oh, no, y'all playing African music? Uh, what type of food is that? Uh, no, uh, 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 Like, bitch, are you dancing, crunking? What? What are you doing? The fuck is food that goes through your mouth that you digest. Like, stop acting dumb because it says it's African because we put African in front of it. Now you're, uh, 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 uh. Like, what? Fast forward to homecoming. I went to one party with her. She was kind of off. But I was thinking because she was high that that's why she was off. But then me and her went to the gym one day. We went to the gym and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. Me and her were supposed to go to the wreck. But I guess somebody pulled off the fire alarm inside the wreck, so they shut the wreck down. So we were supposed we were gonna go home, but my other friend called me and was like, "Hey, just come work out at our apartment complex because they had a gym there." So we was like, "Bad." Now I'm gonna be real and I'm gonna say that we went to go work out, but but I started playing. I, I'm I'm gonna be real and say that I'm not gonna act like I did it. So basically, um, Nesby was having a little get together inside the apartment complex. So the way the apartment is set up is. It's like it's a lobby and then you walk in further and it's a gym. So when you got to walk through the lobby to get to the gym or you could go the opposite way around. But we went through the lobby and I see everybody I know. I'm seeing my friends. I'm seeing. So at this rate, I don't even care about the gym no more. I kind of like, I'm going to be real. After they said the wreck was closed, I'm not going to lie and I care about the gym anymore. I was like, uh, 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 bitch, I don't care. So I'm playing in the lobby and stuff and you can see she's getting irritated. Like she's like, are we gonna work out or what? And I'm gonna be real. I will have that attitude too because it's like I don't know these hoes, and it's like we came here to work out. So what? Like what? We ended up eventually working out, but even then I was still playing, and you can tell she was irritated. So she eventually was like, "I'm not working out no more. Like that's it for tonight. I'm not working out anymore." Basically, was all hanging out with each other, and all of a sudden she disappears. The girl just disappears. Where Nissan at? So now I'm calling Nissan and she's not answering. So at this time, I go to my friend's um apartment because she lives in that area. So we go to my friend's apartment and we chilling. They're eating food and stuff. We're laughing. And I'm still calling Nissan. And she eventually answers and she's like, hello. And I'm like, Nissan, where are you at? Because the thing is, she rode with me. And I didn't want to, when I want to leave, I don't want to be responsible for like waiting on you. So we can go back home and we didn't we don't live on campus we live off campus so it's like once i'm home i'm home like come to like what i wouldn't leave her but it's like come on now like at least let me know where you're going so i can say okay nissan is at such and such so she said well y'all were playing so i went to go see my nigga cool whatever so this is another this is another uh story that i'm gonna put out fast forward to early november this is when I knew mm -mm, something's off with her. She comes in one day and she's banging on my door. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. 
bitch, what's going on? She's like, Irene, Irene. She calls my phone, but I'm getting ready for work at this rate. So I'm not answering her phone. I'm late as hell. She's like, did you see my text? Did you see my calls? I'm like, no. So she's like, me and my nigga just got into a fight. And I'm like, what? About what? And we ain't gonna really get into depth of that because I really don't care. But I just want to let you... I, the reason why I have to tell y'all this story is because I want to let you know how crazy this girl is. She basically beat this nigga up in the engineering building. She beat him up in the engineering building, bro. The girl beat him up in the engineering building. Bitch, I believe you when you say you from Chicago. Bitch, you don't even got to tell me twice. So I was just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and she beat him up in the in the engineering building and then she tried to fake it like he was hitting her like she basically recorded like a video of like her saying stop stop to him but in actuality she was hitting him just in case the police got called on her and then she packed nice to school and was like yeah I cannot wait to go to school tomorrow <laughs> Right then and there, I said, hey, I'm done with her. Like, mentally, I was done with her because it's like, you just on some nut shit. Like, it's one thing for you and your nigga to get into it. It's another thing for you to try to get your... That's like a nigga playing you and then you accuse him of raping you when y'all when you know you had consensual sex with him. But because you mad at what he did to you, now you're going to go call the police and tell the police that you got raped. Like, it's equivalent if you ask me. So, I was like, yeah, I cannot mess with her like that because it's like... What if she do some shit like that to me? Like, I don't know. I be thinking weird like that. But what if she do? She was like, I gotta go to work. I'm late. And she's just like, you know, she's just fuming. Like, she had scratches on her body. I wasn't like too crazed out by it. Because I've done some crazy shit in my lifetime. But I just felt like she was just doing a little bit too much for me. Fast forward to no, the ending of November. A day before Thanksgiving. I'm trying to pack my bag so I can go home for thanksgiving my school is full of shit they make thanksgiving a three-day break but me i be packing like i don't know why the fuck i was packing but i was packing so much makeup and at the same time i'm cleaning my room because i don't want to come back on monday or sunday whenever i was supposed to come back and my room is horrible so i'm i'm cleaning my room while packing my my goal is to leave by three ish three o'clock ish so i could hit the road so there won't be traffic and then on top of that, let me give you guys a side note. My car basically overheats. And it overheats in the weirdest way possible. It basically overheats. Like, basically, if you have, if you, if my car is stagnant, that means the fan is not moving. Which causes the car to overheat. So I never really got it fixed. And, yeah, I need to get it fixed. But my car basically overheats when it's stopped for a long time. So my main goal was to pack all my bags and hurry up so I don't have to be in traffic so my car doesn't start overheating so I don't have to get to the side of the road and wait for it to cool down. I'm going to say it's like 2. She knocks on my door. So I'm not thinking nothing of it. I'm like, hey love. She's like, hey girl, um, can you can you take me to the beauty supply store? Um, I want to do my hair in a specific way for Thanksgiving tomorrow and um, I need wraps. In my head I'm like damn like I'm about to leave like at this rate my room was clean my shit was packed I just really needed to just like take my stuff to the car um take a shower and dip like literally so I was like um yeah I can take you to the beauty supply but let me like get ready and then we can go so I put my stuff in the car I took a shower and um at this time, by the time I'm done doing everything, it's like 3. It's 3. It's already 3. So she gets in the car with me and we go to the beauty supply on campus. Because we don't live far from campus, even though we don't live on campus. We forgot that basically the campus closed at 12 that day because it was Thanksgiving the next day. You already had this hairstyle in your head for Thanksgiving. I have woke up at 11 that day, not 12. I woke up at 11 and I started packing at 12. I meant to say 11. From 11 to 12, literally, guys, I was just sitting in my bed playing on my phone. That's how I am. It takes me a minute to get up all the time. I just sit in my bed and I play on my phone or I go pee. And then after I get done peeing, I go back in the bed and play on my phone for about a good hour. That's when I'm, like, fully up. She could have hit me up from at 11 and we could have went at 11. But at this time, it's like traffic is booming and, bitch, I got to go. I'm like, I'm sorry, girl. Like... I'm sorry, I tried to help you. 
um, I'm driving back to our apartment to drop her off so I can start hitting the road. She then asked me, she says, well, can you take me to the beauty supply? And, and she said the area. Now, that beauty supply is about, give or take 10 minutes. 10 minutes. It's not that far. That beauty supply is about a good 10 minutes from where we live. I was like, oh no. I basically gave her the rundown of my car. I basically was like, love, I will take you. Like, I will really take you. But, um, I said, my, basically, like, my car overheats. I'm telling her, like, the whole rundown. She gets an attitude, and she's like, so when did that start happening? Mind you, she's looking at me like this. Bitch, you are not Maury poor bitch. The fuck? You want to put some fucking, uh, strings on my hands to give me a lie detector test? The fuck you talking about when did this start happening? Like, you the motherfucking professor. Bitch, I am not in your class. The fuck? Bitch, it happened today. Like, what? Um, I'm looking at her like, it's been happening. And she's like, mm. Also, you know, you know when you think somebody lying and you're like, mm-hmm, mm. Like, you, like you motherfucking caught the cold. Like, mm. <laughs> Bitch, you can, mm. your way all you want. You're not going to the beauty supply on my watch. At this point, I'm like, all right, this, this little baby, like, this little baby, she, she trying me. I'm going to let her go, but she trying me. She gets out of my car. I'm like, you have a safe journey because, you know, she's flying back to Chicago. So I said, may she have a safe journey? She's like, mm-hmm. And she slams my door. Okokopioko. You slam my door. I let it go. I said, it's okay. Tell me why I'm driving. Mind you, traffic started loading. Just, just keep that in mind. So now my car's overheating. So now, you know, I'm in traffic, you know, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I'm, you know, I'm playing on my phone while I'm in traffic and I click on her story and mind you, she has me and her close friend. This host said, I don't ask nobody for nothing. So if I ask you, you better do it. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, she's not talking about me. She's not talking about me. In her next story, please get me the fuck out of Texas. I hate these inconsiderate acts people oh i'm inconsiderate and mind you i had asked her i said why you don't ask your best friend to uh because i mean I, she had a friend that the same girl that i told you that was the freshman that i used to hang out with i said why you don't ask her to take you she said basically she got into it with her earlier on that day and she didn't want to ask her to take her at the end of the day if i get into it with my friend and she asked me to take her somewhere i'm gonna take her Unless, like, it was something big. And I said, well, was the argument that big? And she said, no. So why couldn't you just ask her? Like, you being prideful. And I don't like prideful people. Every time I went to H-E-B, I took her. If y'all don't know, H-E-B is like a grocery store. The closest H-E-B from our university is 20-something minutes. It was even times I took her when I didn't even need to buy groceries. I took her to my job. And I used to work at Guess at that time. I took her to Guess. Let her use, let her use my, let her use my discount. We used to take her to the gym. I used to take her on campus when, when, sometimes when, uh, when she needed to do something or she needed to go to class and she missed the shuttle. I used to take her to campus. Mind you, it will, I'll be literally, I don't have to go to campus. Like literally, I'll be about to take my nap and she'll come knock on my door and be like, Hey, I want to go to campus. Me and old girl want to go to campus. Can y'all drop, can you drop us off? And I would drop her off. It's like, now I'm inconsiderate because I couldn't take you to one place when I've been taking your ass all over the place for the past couple of months. Now I'm inconsiderate. Hey, I cut her off. At this rate, I cut her off. I didn't put nothing in my store. I didn't subtweet her back. Uh, I don't. I, I didn't care to do so. Like she's not really. She wasn't really like a valuable friend for me to like address her and be like, "What was this shit?" I just cut her off. She didn't talk to me either when we got back to school. Like she was me bugging me. Like I stole her fucking dog. I was looking at her like, "What?" Like you subtweeted me. Why the fuck are you me bugging me? Her school ends. We're in winter break. I stopped watching her story. She stopped watching mine. Like, I didn't talk to her. I get back to school now in January. I'm packing my bags to go back inside my apartment. She says, hey, girl. I'm like, hey. Like, why are you talking to me, bro? All right. Now, let me backtrack. So, let's go back to October-ish. So, in October, it was 85 degrees outside. And these motherfuckers had the heater on. What the fuck is going on? Why is the heater on? See, I didn't know that it was Nissan who had the heater on. I thought it was the other roommate. So I said, bro, Nissan. I said, bro, do you see they have the heater on? 
Nisa said, girl, it's me. And I said, hey. I said, hey, bro, turn off that heater. We started laughing about it. I said, hey, it's too hot. Like, it's 85 degrees outside. And she said, I know, but it's cold in here. It's cold in here. Me and her were cool. So, I'm not really going to be plexi-plexi with her over the heater. I turned it off. She let me turn it off. Um, I turned it off, and we went about our business. It's January, so it's cold. I would think that within me just coming there for four hours, like being in that place for four hours, I would like the heater to be at a certain level while I'm sleeping. If one thing about me, my body cannot go to sleep if it's hot, if it's like extremely hot. Whenever I would come home from the engineering building, sometimes I would turn on the AC. Yep. It wouldn't be that cold outside. I would make sure like, okay, is it, it, it if, if it was like really, really cold, I would leave the, I would leave the heater on. I'll just uh, push it down a little bit. But there were days where I'm going to say it was like 50 something, 60 something degrees. I would turn on the AC so like there can be air flowing. Or I would turn off everything. That's another thing I would do. I would turn off everything. And, um, or I would turn on the heater. Mind you, I have a little um, fan here. Um, the heater would be on majority of the times that it was cold. But they like having the heater on 73, 74. I used to turn the heater down to 67. 67, 66, 6, 66, 67, like around around that, those numbers. So I had it at 67. It was blowing hot air, but it would blow hot air every once every, I'm going to say 20 something, 30 something minutes, which gave the room enough time to have room temperature in it for me to be able to just sleep for three hours, literally three hours, because by nine o'clock, the heater would be back up to 75 degrees to 75 fucking degrees and by then i'm up like once i'm up i don't like the heater at all but um once i'm up i can i i can somewhat deal with it not really at 75 but like at 70 i can somewhat deal with it at 70 or 68 ish i can deal with it where it became a problem was that sometimes it would be 70 degrees at at night and they would have the heater on what is the heater doing on? I basically um, started fighting the heater with them. Mind you, this is the heater. I'm not turning on the AC. I'm just fighting the numbers with them. So the heat does not flow as much. So basically, they'll put it on 73. I'll go and put it on 67. They'll put it on 73. I'll go put it on 67. One day, I was cooking in the kitchen. And Nissan comes in. And Nissan walks straight to the to the AC and turns on the heater. Mind you, it was not that cold that day. It was just not that cold that day. So I said, Nissan, what are you doing? She's like, I'm turning on the heater. So I was like, girl, it ain't that cold outside. And she was like, well, I'm sick. She's sick, like I cannot fight that, she's sick. And I said, okay, well, what is it on at least? She tells me, I think she said 73. So I go and I turn it down and I'm like, could you have it at like 68, please? Like, I don't want it at 73. It's a little bit too, it's, it's too hot to be at 73. It's not hot. It's not cold outside. She basically was like, well, I'm sick. And I told her that I hope she gets better, which I did. I'm not a, not a hateful bitch. So I had it on 68. Now I have friends that like the heater too. And I'm not surprised because they're African and that's how Africans are. Africans love the heat. Me, I don't like the heat. Even my people, we don't like to eat. My friends came over to, to eat. I was cooking. So they said, oh my God, Irene, this is so cold. Oh my God, Irene, this is so cold. So I'm like, y'all shut up. The heater is on. And I'm getting irritated at my friends talking because me and her just got into it. And I, I know she can hear my friends saying it's, it's cold. So I know in her head she's like, mm-hmm. Mm -mm. No, I don't give a damn what they say. So the next morning, she goes, I, I basically turned off the heater again. Mind you. With us cooking, with us cooking and everything, we, we, I still went to the engineering building that night. So I get back at like 6 in the morning. So I basically um, go to sleep till 9 and I could feel the heater at 8. I could feel the fucking heater at 8. I go and I turn it down and I wake up again at 9 and I could feel the heater back up. Booming. I mean that motherfucker was booming. So I see her pressing the button. Mind you, you gotta press the button while you get it ready for school. You doing too much. You feel me? You like you doing like you getting ready for school, my nigga. Like you're about to leave. Why? Like this girl was fully dressed. Like she was on her way out. 
I said, Nissan. She was like, yes. I was like, why are y'all keep turning on the heater when y'all know it's not even that cold outside? She was like talking about some, well, it is cold outside, this, this, and that. Like I said, we live in Texas. There was nights it was cold. There was nights it was not that cold. But it was like, it was never hot like during January. I would never lie and say that it was hot. It was just nights where it was like normal. Like I literally cannot make this up, guys. It was 68 degrees outside. And I really wish I screenshotted this. But I didn't know that this shit was going to blow up this big for me to, like, you know, I really wish I screenshotted it that day, though. Me and her came to an agreement that we will keep the heater at 66 when it's around 60-something. But if it drops down to 40-something, 50-something, they can raise it up. Cool. Whatever. It's throughout the day and I'm chilling. I'm with my friend. Me and my friend were about to go home and get ready for the gym. We stopped at her place first to get clothes for her. And then we're about to go to my place and then we're going to go to the rec. They make a GM. We ain't never had a GM. Never. Like we never had a GM ever until that moment. That pissed me off. Because it's like you trying to ambush me? Like what the fuck are you trying to do? Bitch am I on pump? Why the fuck am I in the GM? I'm just looking like... Uh, guys, excuse my language. I know I curse a lot. I'm trying to work on it. I'm in the GM and basically Nissan basically types saying I know me and you agreed to a certain number But after speaking with the other roommate, she does not want to do that And basically they're gonna have the heater on I think they said 70 at all times and um Until further notice bitch. I noticed it. Hey, these girls have lost their everlasting mind now I'm, I'm done like i'm just i'm done playing these little ring around the rosy games with you hoes like i'm just done my main my the main reason why i got mad was because if me and you made an agreement how can you go back door and team up like you a powerpuff girl with this other girl who you don't like like that mind you may i add she did not like her she used to talk shit about her how you gonna power up with this little powerpuff girl and now y'all gonna come to save the day like I'm the motherfucking villain. I messaged her that. I said, me and you agreed to something, so why would you go and change it? And she basically telling me that basically me and you cannot like me and her shouldn't make a compromise without the other roommate. Which is true. But now you do not come and ask somebody in the GM and say because it's majority rules, that's what we're keeping it at. No, that's not how it works. And that's what a lot of people need to understand. Because if it was two bitches who wanted it cold. And we came in the GM and said it's majority rules. They would not like that. But because it's because it, it, it was just no compromise for me. And you guys over here talking about y'all want the AC at 70 when it's 68 degrees outside. Like y'all sound dumb. I literally told them I was like that's not fair. And I said and I just don't like the way uh, me and you made a compromise and then you backdoor behind my back. I was like and test me and see the results. That's what I texted them. I said test me and see the results. So the ghost put laughing emojis. I don't know whether this bitch thought she was in a comedian show, but she went from laughing to crying real quick. So I said, test me and see the results. Nissan went in tight talking about some, honey, please be careful. I would hate for you to get kicked off the um, campus for threatening me or for trying to fight me. I'm with my friend in the car and my friend's like, be careful for Nissan, bro. She gonna try to do some shady shit. Please be careful. I mean, watch what you say. Tread lightly. So I started treading lightly. I didn't type back in the GM because I don't want to say anything that I'm going to have to be explaining later on. And so, yeah, I stopped typing. I said, I'm, when I see this hoe, I see this hoe. So we go back to my place. I'm literally waiting for this bitch. Mind you, I'm on the phone with my mom and I'm telling my mom everything. My mom's like, okay, don't talk to her. I'm like, I'm not. And I wasn't going to talk to her. But when I seen her, I said, no, nah, I got to talk to her. Like, it's, it's a must. She comes in and she sees me and I'm just staring at her. Mind you, our rooms are like right next to each other. So she can see me. I'm literally sitting on my bed staring at her. So I said, Nissan. I guess. Hey, I have a question. I wish your question. If me and you made a compromise, why would you then backdoor, go with the other roommate, make a compromise with her and say that I cannot touch the, the, the AC? Because at the end of the day, she lives in the house. Da, 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 da. I said, so one time y'all had the heater on. And it was 85 degrees outside. Do you remember that day? Now this bitch want to act like she has dementia. She's like, uh, uh, no. I said, yeah, y'all had the heater on. I said, so my question is, what are, what are y'all, are y'all going to have the heater on when it gets, when it gets hot outside? Girl says, I don't know. Hey. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? So now I'm yelling at her. I think she's on the phone with her mom. 
because she has the phone in her hand and I'm hearing stuff. So I'm like, so I was like, did you or did you not say you? Da, 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 da. Like, I'm yelling. She's trying to calm. That's remember I told you she's she's crazy. People like her, they try to like everything is okay. She says, hey, I have a question. I said what? She says, when you said uh test me and see the results, what did you mean by that? Remember my friend said tread lightly. So I said it's whatever I said. Take it how you want it. Tell me why. Literally, two minutes later, I hear police open up. <laughs> wrong address I'm like okay I've already addressed her like I'm about to go to the gym so I'm getting ready so my friend's like bitch hurry up and put on your clothes like hurry up I'm like yes how may I help you the police said we have a, a call about a threat so I was like okay who this young lady right here says you threatened her it's two officers it's me it's Nissan and my friend is just in the background just looking and we're in the living room we start telling the officers what happened. She tells her side of the story. She lies. She basically says she likes it being cold, which is a lie because when we all when we all became cool, she said she hated the cold. So why are you now lying? And then she starts telling me stuff like, if I want it so cold, I could put I could I could uh put up my windows at night as if we don't live on the first floor. So what? Do you want somebody to just come and rob me? Are you dumb? Her mom is on the phone saying she wants me arrested. Arrested for what? For what? For Arrested for what? Then she goes and she tells the officers that I'm a criminal. So I said, go ahead and pull up my files, detective. That's what I said in front of the officers. And they was like, chill, chill. And I was like, you got some damn nerve calling me a criminal. You the real criminal. I was like, you the real criminal. Don't ever call me a criminal when you was really in this bitch fighting your nigga in the engineering building, doing Muhammad Ali in the engineering building. Don't call me no criminal. So the office is like, y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. Nissan is showing the other officer messages of me threatening her. Basically where I said, test me and see the results. She said that was a threat. The officer was like, um, that's not really a threat because we don't really know what she mean by that. And the officer was like, now, has she said, test me and I'm going to beat your ass? That's a threat. He said, but test me and see the results can mean anything. And I said, and so she asked me, she asked me in front of the officer, so what did it mean? Bitch, am I going to say that I'm going to fight you? Like, you, you look dumb. And she starts telling the officer that she feels threatened and she her life is at danger. And ever since me and her stopped being friends, she felt threatened. Bitch, me and you stopped being friends in November. Mind you, at this time, it's February, almost March. How all of a sudden you feel threatened? Like what? What what transpired? It's been four months, boo. What what? Like what what do you feel threatened? Why are you scared for your life now? Why weren't you scared for your life when we first stopped being friends? We came to an agreement that um we'll leave the AC at 67. Uh if it's not that hot, if it is hot, put it at 70. Don't exceed past 70. Me and her come to a compromise and I'm just looking at her like you a you 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 a different type of bitch like you the type that would do some shit and then call the police later on my friend is just laughing at this moment my friend's like wow this girl is actually crazy i said crazy as hell i wake up the next day i go to class i come back and i start seeing a lot of her stuff outside like it was like outside like in trash bags so i was just like okay i know this is her stuff because i've been inside her room like i, I know this is her shit so I start seeing her shit in trash bags. So I'm like, hmm. She moved out. She literally moved out within like a good three, four hours of me not being home. She moved out the very next day. So at this point, I'm celebration, bitch. I'm I'm singing. I'm um you feel me? If if Pop Smoke dropped uh his album out, I would have been yelling, for now. For now. bitch. I was happy. I said Bajo celebrating. And Ghost is down the hallway looking at me like this. And I'm looking at her like Foreigner. Foreigner. <laughs> Foreigner. Cause bitch, who won it? You want it next? What? And she's just looking at me like. And she slams her door. 
So I call my mom and I tell my mom, yeah, mommy, like, I'm so happy she left. Da, da, da. And I watch her story. I watch her story and basically she put on her story, it's been real. I blocked her everywhere. I didn't block her on, I blocked her on Snapchat. I blocked her on Instagram and I just unfollowed her from Twitter. And I blocked her number and I blocked the other bitch number a long time ago. So me and Ghost, we're not talking. Ghost is just like, you know, me mugging me and stuff like that. I'm, I'm really not paying her no mind. And go start doing petty shit. Go start doing stuff such as before she leaves to go to work, she puts the heater on 77. Now, all of a sudden, I got into it with y'all over the heater, and now the heater is hitting 77. And mind you, she'll tamper with the heater before she go to work. That was the problem that I had with these hoes. I was never home. So the, 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 the little times that I was home, why couldn't I have it at what I wanted to have it at? Heater was on her side. I'll go down the hallway to, um, to, go, to go see what she had it at, and she had it at 77. So I said, oh, bitches want to start being petty. Cool, I can do that too. What I did one time was when I would leave, every time I would leave, I would put the AC, I would turn the AC on and I'll put it on 62, 62, 61 all the time. I put it on 62, 61. So she started getting mad. No, bitch, I'm going to do it because you thought it was cute to do it. So now I think it's cute to do it. Now what? Now what? And I know a lot of y'all about to be like, man, y'all just childish. Y'all, Bro, I really tried to compromise with these hoes, but it's like at this point, these bitches then called the police on me. Like, I don't care no more to be, like, mature about nothing when you called the police on me. And now you over here doing childish shit along with, with Nissan. Basically, one day, I come from the engineering building at 6 in the morning. And I'm woken up by 7.30 to the heater blasting. It was blasting. So, I woke up at 7.30. I went over there and I went to go check it. And the heater was on 74. So I pushed it down to 68. Yes, she hears me because the heater is by her room. So she comes out of her room and she basically goes to the kitchen getting stuff. Like she's trying to act like she's getting stuff from the kitchen. And then before she goes to her room, she pushes it back up to 74 or, or 70, whatever she had it at. 70. She put it on 74. So then I looked at her and as soon as I seen her, I started walking towards her room. And I pushed it down to 68 and I looked at her and I said, so then she starts getting mad and she starts cursing. So she then puts it on 70. So I put it down to 68. She puts it up to 70. I put it down to 68. We're literally just standing there doing this. I look at her. She looks at me. I look at her. I said, I know a lot of people about to be like, y'all are childish as fuck. But yes, that's what we were doing. Eventually she starts screaming, talking about she's going to beat the fuck out of me and this, this, and that. And I said, and I. And, and, and the thing is, when Nisa went and said something about she would hate for me to get in legal trouble, a ghost want to go like the message. Now you over here threatening to beat me up? Bitch, pick or choose. Pick or choose. So I said, she's like, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. Like, you really about to get me hot? Like, I'm going to punch a hole in this wall? You're really about to get me hot? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I said, put your hands on me and you'll be controlling the AC from your house in Chicago because I will get you kicked off this campus. Because it's like, y'all motherfuckers want to play evil. See, the thing with me, I, I, I don't like fighting, but we can just fight and duke it out and go about our business. So I said, no. Like, I will really call the police if you put your hands on me. Period. She starts crying. She's like, bro, I'm going to get the toes. So she on the phone with her friend. Her friend like, you dumb, bitch. You dumb, bitch. Yelling and shit. I called my friend. So my friend said, leave that stupid daddy girl alone. Hey guys, let me go ahead and add something else. She started making fun of Africans and was like, you dirty ass African. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not dirty. I'm just going back and forth and stuff. And we arguing, we yelling, we screaming. I'm trying to come to like a compromise with her, but she is screaming. And I said, me and old girl had it at such as we compromised for such and such. She said, bitch, I don't care. Bitch, I don't care. You're not going to be yelling in my face like that. You just not. You're not. Say, I don't give a damn what you care about. I don't give a damn what you care about. I said, I can do this all day. You remember when I texted you and I told you, test me and see the results? Bitch, the results are in. You failed. She's screaming like I heard like her like throwing stuff in her room, like punching stuff, like she's screaming. I said, come do it to me. I said, if you got a problem, come touch 
me. Come test me. So I go to class and I end up um, going to my friend's place to sleep. I went to the um, leasing office to let them know that uh, I was having issues with um, the AC and stuff. Nisa went and told the leasing office that she was moving out because we was wasting uh, electricity and the utility bills were high and she couldn't afford it. Nisa, you're a motherfucking liar because I literally asked you, do you want me to turn off the AC, the, the AC and the heater all together? And she said, no, she likes heat flowing through the air. So then you will now come to the leasing office to tell the leasing office that we were wasting electricity and turning on the heater and the AC all the time. And that's why you had to move out because you didn't want to really tell them what happened. Okay, cool. But I don't know why you lied. That's one thing I don't get. I don't know why you lied. You didn't have to go in depth, but you could have been like, you, you don't get along with your roommates and you want to go. But you went and lied. You went and fucking lied. Okay, cool. I like that. You're a liar. As I walk out of the leasing office, Ghost is in a leasing office. So I'm like, okay, is she about to tell her side of the story or what? Like, she's me mugging me. I literally looked at her. I literally, guys, I looked at her and, and I walked off with my friend. I go to my house, and bitch, we can just go ahead and play Foreigner again. Foreigner, 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 Foreigner. And if you don't like it, you can leave with me, son, too. That's what I told her. And she left. She left. She left. She moved out. She left. I guess she couldn't take it. She left. So let's try to do childish shit. She put a password on the heater and locked it to have it on 77 it's a way you could put a you could put a password and lock up the ac all together and she basically did that but the dumb bitch <laughs> the dumb bitch forgot it to press submit so i was just able to back it out and take it back there because had she not pressed submit i would have had to call maintenance to come and lock, unlock it like she's such a dumb bitch do better do better but yeah, she basically did that before she left. And yeah, I never seen none of them again because, you know, Corona happened shortly after that. And now look, we're all at home. <laughs> so was it worth it? Like you guys are in Chicago now, bro. Was it worth it? And we're all home. Like you guys really did the most. You guys really forced. Um, never seen them again. Um, don't plan on ever seeing them again. And honestly, I don't feel like what I did was bad. I feel like the only part that I forced was being petty and stuff. Of course, I could have took the higher road. But it's like, once you call the police on me, I don't give a fuck about the high road no more, bitch. I want the low road, the fuck. If you guys like that story time, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And I know that story time is so long. I am so sorry, guys. It so much shit happened between like I couldn't leave anything out because y'all would have been confused. And yes, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff below. And also let me know if I was wrong. Let if you guys don't know, my name is Irene and thank you for watching this video. Bye guys.